to another video in this video we are going to be reviewing the rks98 keyboard i wanted this keyboard and i want to give it a try so i'm going to give you guys my experience and hopefully if you're looking for a keyboard this helps you out or if you are looking for specifics about this keyboard hopefully this review can help you out as well so let's go ahead and start the review most important thing the price as of now 130 dollars there's a blue version out there 30 dollars off 100 dollars. but this one that i'm reviewing right now at the time of recording 130 so let's go ahead and open it up see what's in the box i like the packaging it comes with the clear case on it looks like it's very secure and it has this nice film like whatever paper on top of it take it off and let me know what you guys think you guys rocking with the colorway i like it the build seems very very good to me there's the screen there and there's also a film on top of the screen which is a nice touch to have and just for initial t key dang i can't talk but initial testing feels good you guys can't hear it sorry about that but i like it the full size keyboard it's a good weight not too heavy not too light in the back we can see the stands and we can also see the little pocket for the wireless receiver in the back what's in the box extra keycaps uh switch remover tool and the cable straight form that's it and i think that's all i need this is a hot swappable keyboard let me go ahead and show you guys. On the website, you're able to get two types of switches, the pale green tactical switch and the linear viridian switch. The one I'm reviewing is the pale green tactical switch. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start with a sound test. So let me know what you guys think. Oh, if I can get, get this one right. All right. So this keyboard has triple mode. Dang, I don't know how to talk. This keyboard has three ways of connecting. For some reason, I think that is the standard across all keyboards. I don't know why, but here it is. It has up to three Bluetooth connections, has the wireless receiver, and you can also just old style hardwired into your machine. One really cool feature about this keyboard that caught my attention was that it has a knob and a display. Wheel knob sound test. Just to give you guys a quick rundown of the effects, let's go ahead and I'll go through them each one of them that it has already pre-installed, just so you guys know how it looks. Also, let me give you a rundown of how the actual knob works with the display. So you can do a cool stuff with it. So first things first, we gotta look at this right here. That is the sound symbol, which means that this knob is right now, it is programmed to work as a volume button, as you can see here. Now, if you want the knob to work as a going to the settings and do some changes, just press down. You saw the hamburger menu. Now we can go into the settings. So. Left scroll and right scroll takes you to two different settings. Left scroll takes you to connection methods, receiver, Bluetooth, or wired. You can go back. If with each setting, remember, you can always go back. Now, right scroll. Right scroll, we can go ahead and choose if we want time to show or our GIF. And the GIF, we can go ahead and configure in the settings. Click again. Actually, no. Right click. I mean, right scroll, home again, time. Right scroll again, we have other options. Layout, layout gives us Windows or Mac version of the keyboard. Let's go and click Windows. Now we have effect. Effect just gives us 
the effect of the lights, the color we want for that effect, and the brightness, and the speed. Language, and return. That's pretty much it. And that's all you can do in, the, in, the, in this configuration, which is pretty cool. Just wanna give you guys a quick tutorial. Other features of this keyboard is it has, what does it have? Well loop stabilizers, so you know that, that that the keyboard's gonna sound nice and they do it already, so you don't have to do it yourself. The keyboard is a 96% keyboard. It's missing some of the keys, which is the ones that are in the home page up PGN, whatever the other three are or the other four, those are what's missing. I don't use them at all, really. This keyboard does come with software that you can download and install. So this is what the software looks like. Once you connect the keyboard to the computer, you go ahead and you'll see your keyboard right here. Just click into it. And as you can see here, you can do a lot within the software. Um, you can click on or create different profiles. And then from there, switch them to whoever's using the keyboard. And then there's macros as well that you can also implement. And then also here is the light effects mode. And you just click on one and it'll just start doing an effect. Or you can make a custom light as well. And then here I wanted to talk about was the display and the knob. You're not able to control these. I really thought you could because that'd be pretty cool having a knob to work with Lightroom or in video editing just to when you do color gridding that would have been cool to use it. So those keys are not able to be modified. Um, and then here is where you go ahead and upload your GIF to show on the display. So just a quick rundown, just click on load and then you navigate to your GIF that you created or that you downloaded and then you just click on it and then open. And then from here you can set to set to how you want it to be shown and then click OK and then click apply and then you're, you're good to go from there. The keyboard the battery is a 30, let me make sure, 30, 3,750 megahertz. I think that's how you say it, battery. To me, the battery has been really good. Just to give you, give you guys a real life scenario, my wife got the same keyboard. She used it for one week straight to work, nine hours a day, five days out the week and it dropped maybe 25%. It came at 87% when we opened out the box, and then when at the end of the week, it was at maybe like low 60-ish. So that's a good indicator of what the battery can hold and how it is on a week-to-week -week basis if you're using this keyboard to work. If you're gonna game, most likely you're gonna game less than eight hours, but if you are, that's a good indicator. But I use it to game for one or two hours a week, and it dropped maybe like 15%. So that's my experience with the battery, and I hope that helps you guys. The port situation, like I said, has one USB pass-through, has to be wired in, and to uh, wire it in is the USB-C, and then you have the on and off switch, and then the far right one is what you change to be Windows version or Mac version of the keyboard. The keyboard also has a two-level stand, one if you don't want it that high, one it's more inclined, and it makes the keyboard really sturdy, so I have no complaints with that at all. This keyboard is a great keyboard. Now let's talk about the cons of it. And for me, I only have one, and it's something that I've also said in my other videos about these keyboards, is that these keyboards, the keycaps are not passed through. And I don't know if that's intentional or I just maybe not knowledgeable enough on why that can't be for these keyboards, but I think they should have, you know, a backlit keycaps due to the price. Uh, let me show you guys something. So if I take out, oops. Well, I'm gonna have to put the phone down. All right, so I took out the F4 key with the keycap that it came with. Now I'm gonna put another keycap in, the one that is from another keyboard. I'm gonna put it upside down because as you can see, the RGB is facing down, so I have to put it down upside down as well to show you guys. I put it in there, it's see-through. So there's a workaround for this. You either just buy keycaps, Actually, that is the only solution. It's just buy a set of keycaps that are see-through like this one and call it a day. But that, but at that point, it's like, if you spend, you know, $130 on a keyboard, I really think it should be passed through. It's very helpful for me. Um, I'll lie. I'm lying if I say it's not helpful because at night or when I used to work, I used to work at like six in the morning. A lot of times it was dark and the keyboard would be helpful when it was you know lit up and I could see the keycaps at night because then you know 
I type, you know, and not mess up and do my job faster. So that's my only um, con with this keyboard, but overall, great keyboard. Well, that's it guys for my review. Like I said, I really like the keyboard. It's a very aesthetic, nice looking keyboard. It looks great in my desk with the nice display. I could put a GIF, whatever I want. The knob feels nice. It's very responsive and the clicking and the keycaps, great. I recommend this keyboard. Like I said, guys, if you guys have any questions, wait, that is the first time I said that. So why am I saying that? Like I said, now I'm saying it. Like I said, guys, comment, question, dislike, like, do whatever you guys want. But let me know if you guys like this keyboard, if you're thinking about getting this keyboard, if you have any feedback on me about my video, what I can improve, all that is much love. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.